We're going to look at language in this video. There's two language areas in the brain. Both of them are usually located in the left hemisphere. There's Wernicke's area and Broca's area. Wernicke's area is located in the temporal and parietal lobes, and it's responsible for comprehending language. So both what you're hearing, so if somebody is talking to you, and then also what you read, so you can understand that as well. If you have damage to Wernicke's area, for example, maybe there's a stroke that affects that area, you can end up with Wernicke's aphasia. So the word aphasia, A means without, and phasia means speech. So somebody who has Wernicke's aphasia, they will not be able to comprehend what someone is saying to them or what they're reading. So when they talk to you, they can form words fine. You can understand what they're saying, but they don't make sense. So they often call it word salad because they just seem like they just kind of randomly string words together. And then Broca's area is located in the frontal lobe and it provides the motor plans to how to control your mouth and your tongue, so how to make those movements to actually say the words that you want to say. So Wernicke's area will plan what word you want to say and then send those um, ideas to Broca's area and then Broca's area will make the plan to actually, actually how to move your mouth and your tongue so you can actually say those words. And if a stroke affects Broca's area, then you can end up with Broca's aphasia. And somebody with Broca's aphasia, they can understand what someone is saying to them, they can understand what they're reading, but they just have trouble getting the words out. So they're very slow to form the words, to get them out. They have a very halting speech pattern. It's not very fluid. Um, they oftentimes will skip over words. So you can understand what they're saying, but just it takes them a while to say what they want to say. And they, they sometimes will get frustrated too because you know, maybe the, the right word doesn't come out that they want to say, um, and so it can be very frustrating for the person as well. This is where Broca's and Wernicke's areas are located in the left hemispheres of the brain. Wernicke's area is in the back here, so it overlaps both the parietal and a little bit into the temporal lobe here. It's going to receive input from hearing and vision. So it'll receive, you know, what you're hearing as far as somebody talking to you and then also what you're reading. And remember, Wernicke's area is your language comprehension area of the brain. So this will make sense of what someone is saying to you, what you're reading, and then you can formulate in Wernicke's area what you want to say back to that person. And then Wernicke's area will send a plan to Broca's area and say, hey, this is what I want to say back to this person. And then Broca's area here in the frontal lobe will then make a plan for how to make to move the mouth and the tongue to actually make those sounds to form those words and, and say those. And then it will send that motor plan to the primary motor cortex which will then send those signals to the mouth and the tongue, so then you can say those words. And here are some videos if you want to take a look at some people who have had strokes that affect these areas of the brain. This one over here on the right is showing you Wernicke's aphasia. So this man has had a stroke affecting Wernicke's area, and you'll notice when you hear him speak, his words are clear, they're fluent, but when he's talking, he doesn't make a lot of sense. So, so take a look at that video. And then this other video, Broca's aphasia, uh, this young girl, very unfortunate, she had a stroke when she was 19, and her stroke affected Broca's area of the brain. And she's able to understand what people are saying to her, 
Um, but she just has trouble getting the words out. So you'll notice this very halting speech pattern with her and um, you know, it's it's not very fluid and and it's um, very simple speech pattern. You know, she skips over a lot of words. So so go ahead and take a look at that video as well, just so you can see what brocas aphasia looks like as well.